Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. And Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, we're having a great day here. It's we're actually filming this on Christmas Eve, uh, but it's releasing on Christmas, and Christmas is tomorrow. We have all kinds of packages here to open, and letters from from you guys at home. It's our Christmas mail time special. You can see some lights in the background. I wore green and red. You just wore red. Yeah, hope, hope, you, hope. you didn't get the the memo. The memo didn't get the memo. You know, post yeah, to post no. producer. <laughs> uh, so we this is actually it's going to be a long video. I hope you can can uh, watch the whole thing. We've got tons of stuff to go through. Lots of letters from people. Uh, so stick around. We'll try and get through them as quickly as possible, but obviously spend the time that each each deserves. Um, so let's, let's get right into it. Let's just not wait. We got a letter here uh, from, from Maple, Maple Ridge, Ridge British Columbia. And I was smart and brought scissors this time. Nice. So instead of ripping them, I'm just going to cut the edges now. Very cool. And I can see through it because of the light, so I know I'm not cutting it into anything uh, that it shouldn't be. So we'll keep with the tradition. Keep with the tradition. All right. You can, ooh, ooh. You can uh, read any letters that, the, that might be here. Very cool. That's cool. Yeah. It's a map. Wrote it on like a map thing. Yeah, very neat. Alrighty. Hi guys, hi guys at Post to Post. My name is Jim Ma. Should I say the whole name? Well, yeah, he wrote in the letters. Okay. Yeah. Jim Ma, I'm 15 years old, and I live in Maple Ridge, BC, which is east of Vancouver. I go to Canucks games often because we are season's ticket holders. Wow. My favorite team and the rest of my family is just the Edmonton Oilers because my dad is from Edmonton. I hope you like what I've sent. Uh, Yerky Lume autograph. He's super nice if you've ever met him. Really? That's cool. That is very cool. Uh, that is very Thank you. cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's awesome. And a sticker of my school and hockey team logo. I'm on the St. Thomas, or sorry, on the Thomas Haney ball hockey team. So I thought I'd send you a sticker. Feel free to put it at your local ice rink or something. And if you could tweet me a picture or something so I can say to my coach and team, I got one in PEI, that'd be great. No problem. Did he okay. put his Twitter on there? Did he put his... Uh, I don't see it, but uh, maybe it's... You message me on Twitter. Uh, yeah. Maybe you already have. Uh, let me know that you're the person who sent this, and I'll definitely send you a picture. And by the way, everything you see behind us on the shelf, I know it's out of focus, but we put everything back there uh, that you guys sent us on that shelf. So uh, Yeah. He's already sent one of these to Las Vegas, and it's up in Vegas somewhere. Ooh. So he just said cool. this. Yeah. Yeah. We already have one in Vegas. Hope you get this. Jin. Uh, don't worry about Lume's autograph. He's everywhere. Or autography. He's everywhere. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that is great. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to give you the stuff to put in the corner. Okay. And then I'm going to give you the letters to throw over there. All right. I'm going to open, I'll maybe try to do one letter, one package, one letter, one package. Um, I was expecting a lot of letters, but you guys sent a ton of packages, so. <laughs> uh, this one's from Quebec. Oh, La Belle put them out. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those. Provence de mon naissance. And I think I know who this is from. This is from Luke, who has sent us a few things already. Okay. He sent some kind of joke packages, like the ham radio thing. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, right. And the, I think he sent the UP. Yeah. And uh, so I don't, I, this is so thick, like it feels like a jersey or something. I can't imagine it's in a jersey. It doesn't look like it's a sweater. Ooh. It's like a Montreal Canadian sweater, I guess. Oh my. Oh, it's a, it's a onesie. <laughs> a Montreal Canadian's onesie. It's a onesie. <laughs> That's insane. That's freaking amazing. <laughs> I think I need to put this on, like now. Oh yeah, you got to don the onesie. Okay, just a second. <laughs> Whoa! Boom! <laughs> I mean, this is my first ever onesie. It's got a butthole on it. Well, probably not your first ever onesie. How do? I, well, no, first ever adult onesie. <laughs> How do yeah. I look? Oh, sharp, well dressed man. Thank you, thank you, Luke. Thank you. That's you awesome, that. Luke. Man, I'm gonna be toasty this this winter. <laughs> What a great Christmas apparel that is. Heck yeah. That's nice. I should wear this to a hockey game. <laughs> this yeah. one's from uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Minneapolis. One of your favorite places. Twin Cities area. Yeah. Been through Minneapolis once. I'd like to go again. Back in 1984. Nice. Last time. Nice. Alrighty. Hi, Neil and Brent. My name is... Marianne? Miriam. Miriam. I'm 19 years old, and I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. 
I'm a sophomore at the University of Minnesota Twin nice. Cities Gophers. Instead of uh, working on my physics homework, I thought I thought to tell you the story of how I got into hockey. It was December 29th, 2016 at Excel Energy Center. It was my first hockey game I'd ever been to, let alone an NHL game. My family and I are very into soccer. Go FC Barcelona. But that quickly changed for me after I saw the Wild play the New York Islanders. The Wild won 6-4 in a very intense game. The atmosphere and the whole experience in general blew me away. The Wild scored three goals in a minute and 20 seconds and extended their longest winning streak in franchise history. Ever since then, my passion for the sport and NHL grew exponentially. My favorite teams are the Minnesota Wild, Montreal Canadiens, and the Pittsburgh Heck Penguins, yeah. respectively. I adore these teams very much, and I'm often called a bandwagoner because of it, but I don't care, uh, LOL. Thought, though I've been a hockey fan for less than a year, I feel that I have great knowledge of the game and players, thanks in part to your videos. My favorite players are Carey Price, Sidney Crosby, and Nino Niederreiter, in that order. I just went to the Wild Penguins game on the uh, 28th of October, and I'm going to the Wild Canadians game on the 2nd of November. Though I will be rooting for the Wild, mm. it will be bittersweet. I, I think uh, Minnesota actually won that game. So, yeah, I think uh, they destroyed Montreal. <laughs> yeah, it'll be bittersweet. My favorite team scoring on my favorite player, that is if he does, uh, doesn't shut out the game. Anyway, thank you for sharing your passion and knowledge of hockey to the world. Also, shout out to all the f female uh, watchers. Keep up the great work, guys. Love, Miriam, uh, a.k.a. Eminem. Oh, I see. That's her, uh, must be oh, her handle. Eminem King of yeah. Rap 1000. 1000. Yeah, I think yeah. The, the female watchers have actually increased. I think they're up to 10% now. Yeah. They were, I think, at, what was it before? 7 point or 8.2 or something? Yeah. She says she can't send any merch right now because she's a broke college, college student. No, no problem at all. Mm. But she says she's going to send some merch in the near future. No problem. No I'm problem a, at all. I'm a broke post college person. So <laughs> <laughs> don't, I, I never want anyone to feel like they have to send us oh, like no. any physical. That's that's awesome. that's what we like. The story yeah. is what it's all about. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing yeah, the story. Thanks, Miriam. That's I love hearing people's yeah. stories. That's what this is all about. Calgary, Alberta. This is from Calgary, Alberta, and Ooh. it's from Kale, I believe is the name. Of it. Yeah. Cool. One of these tricky packages again. Get a scissors. Oh, there's a jersey in here. No kidding. Wow. You guys should not be sending us jerseys. Holy shmoldies. Okay, I don't, this isn't an NHL team. It feels like there's something in this in here. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, there's a... Okay. There is media. Oh, but there's something else in here, too. Oh, Ooh. holy moly. Whoa. Wow. wow. Okay. Set these here. This I need, is from Kale. I can't. I need to hold this up. What in is Calgary. This? Oh, I've seen that logo. Oh, this is a KHL team. Yes. This is the one in Kazakhstan. That's just, yeah. Oh, oh I think, man. I think this person messaged me and said that they were going to send it. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you. And it's got Kale's last name on the back. I think his last name's Austin. So. Oh, cool. Uh, Kale Heck lives yeah. in Calgary. Lifelong hockey fan. Some of my favorite players are UC Okanen, Paul Korea, Pavel Bure, Peter Nedved, and many more. I started my own YouTube hockey channel called Vesper Hockey Inc. Feel free to check it out about four months ago, and now I didn't realize how hard it can be. Nonetheless, I remain undeterred. I must say between the guys at Hockey Tutorial and Jeremy from How to Hockey and the crew from Post to Post really inspired me to at least try. Whether or not I succeed is still unknown, haha. <laughs> the thing I like about your channel is all the stuff in the jerseys you do. I fancy myself a jersey ex expert of sorts, and the non-NHL stuff, uh, everyone covers the NHL, but it's hard to find someone who puts out info about the KHL or any European leagues. I've always been a fan of all hockey. Every year I watch the Worlds and the Spengler Cup to see other players you don't get to see on a regular basis. I've really always been interested in the Russian culture, so naturally, as a hockey fan, I became highly interested in the KHL. Around 2010, and even had three players I really liked in the NHL leave for Russia. Alexei Mazarov, or Morozov, sorry, Radulov, and Yosef Vasicek. I was very sad when the locomotive team crashed, killing the whole team, including Pavel Dimitra, Brad McCrimmon, and Vasicek. If anything, I felt like more of a KHL fan since. But when the lockout happened in 2012, that's when I really started studying Russian hockey. I literally picked a team at random and started following them as my favorite. I picked SKA St. Petersburg, which is looking back a good choice. 
At the time, they hadn't won a league championship, and now they have two, led by Vladim Shipachov, Ilya Kovalchuk, Yevgeny Dadanov, and even added Pavel Datsyuk last season, and have many more talented players. I really want to head over to Russia, maybe take a train ride to the Trans-Siberian on the Trans-Siberian Railway and see places like Omsk, Novosibirsk, Chelyabinsk, Moscow, and Yaroslavl, and take in some KHL action and maybe even play some pond hockey on the Volga. Well, that'd be cool. That would be awesome. It'd be a long train ride. <laughs> yeah. But it'd uh, be a fun one. But in the meantime, I'll send you guys some, some cards, including a KHL card of my favorite players on SKA and Golden Knights, Ooh. prospect Nikita Gusev. He played for Ugra County Manis- Mansisk. Nice. I don't have a KHL card. I'm sure you guys can figure out who gets what. Ha ha. Also, I uh, sent you a white road jersey of Barry Zastana, who have had some notable players like Nigel Dawes, Dustin Boyd, Brandon Bochensky, and during the lockout had Victor Hedman and Ryan McDonough. Even though they have had some awesome players, I got my name put on the back. I hope you'll enjoy and wear it in future KHL videos. Absolutely. Sincerely, yours from Kale. Thank you so much. And... Uh, well, he says now, you don't have to read in the video, but I hope the best for you and hope the future we can work together on some videos or if you need a jersey consultant or anything, please let me know. And he leaves his Gmail address for you to contact him that's directly awesome. on. So Thank that's you so much. I really excellent. appreciate that. You really didn't have to send this. This is awesome. Thank Great you addition so much. to the collection. And uh, I am no means a, a jersey expert, so Ooh. anytime I need any info, I'll definitely come to you. Nice. Jean Beliveau franchise yeah, There's all card. kinds of cards. Here's the KHL card if you want to see that. Oh, nice. I don't have a KHL card. So that's my first one. And there's all kinds Gusev. of cards here. John Tavares, Shea Weber, Lars Eller, Thomas Volkanik, P.K. Subban, wow. lots of Montreal Canadiens cards. Thank you very much. I see a ton in here I actually don't have, so uh, that's huge. That's great. And a lot of the writing on the back is in English, but there's a bit of a Cyrillic as well, so that's tremendous. That's cool. Thank I'll you so much. I'll get you to set that aside, yeah. please. Will do. Oh, I didn't start. I didn't get a chance to look at this because I was reading. But, I didn't uh, start a timer. I have no idea how, how long we've been filming for. Nice jersey, too. Okay. Very good. All right, on to the next letter, and this Alrighty. is from Burnaby, BC. Okay. What's this one? Suspense, isn't it? It's suspense, it's on. When people are watching. Dear Post to Post, my name is Casey. Hey, Casey. I am 11 years old and a huge Canucks fan. I like your content. I'm... I think he's playing hockey. Playing... Uh, for the Surrey... Hockey. Yeah, Stingrays. Surrey Stingrays, okay. He's a defenseman. He's a defenseman and where is number, number three? three? Uh, from Casey. P.S. There's a drawing for you on the other page. Oh, cool. It's very a nice. Stick. It looks like a little logo there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Casey. Awesome, Casey. And good luck in your hockey. Yeah. Playing D. We need a lot of D. Okay. This is from. This feels heavy. I don't. This is from San Jose. San Jose, California. Look at that. It's from. Who's it from? Pierre. Maybe. Pierre. Merci, Pierre. The San Jose, California. Oh, there's some stuff in here. That looks like something I'm very interested in. <laughs> I can't see the rest of it because it's in this thing. But... Sharks Playoffs Towel from 2016, Silence the Blues. Nice. That, <laughs> that is, is awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. I love it. Sharks my second favorite team. It's so. the Western Conference Final towel silence the blues that's awesome that that's going up great. in the studio for sure <laughs> look at this puck oh man it's, Woo. it's like it's got a bevel that is shiny it's got inlay or something that's cool <clears throat> very cool all right i'm gonna give you this that's a beauty puck. looks like a, a letter here a letter. All give right, me that thank you i don't know what this is but we'll find out and i'll open this while you're Dear Post to Post crew, hello, my name is Pierre, and I'm not French. Okay, Pierre? I'm 15 years old and live in San Jose, California, about 10 minutes from the SAP Center. I get to watch a lot of Sharks hockey because I, I live so close. I appreciate Neil's support for the Sharks. It I must be it. rough right now as a Habs fans because Carey Price is playing so poorly, and your record is awful. I have enclosed a Patrick Marlowe bobblehead that was given out during the game last year. 
That must be what you're unwrapping now. I think so. And a towel from the Western Conference Final in 2016, and a San Jose Sharks puck. I would be really grateful if you guys could send me something back. You guys have a great channel and great videos. Keep up the good work. Justin, Neil, Brent, and Jason. Sincerely, Pierre. And P.S., he lets it be known he doesn't like the pen. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Did he, was there a return address on there? We could send him something back? Yeah, it's in the, uh, it's on the package. So I'll maybe... Oh, it's not on that package. Man, you, you packed this well. Yeah. yeah it's on I the am, envelope. I am excited. This would be very popular in Toronto this year. Holy... Mm. Nice. Wow. That is and it, freaking amazing. <laughs> and it arrived intact and still working. The head still bobbles and everything. I love that. Nice, nice little SAP sticker down there. I love that. <laughs> that is, that's awesome. That's amazing. That's uh, great. Okay, so I think this is... The story? No, I think this is the, uh, the hockey stick that goes with the bobble head. Oh, okay. When I first read it on here, the hockey bubble stick, bubble head, hockey, bubble stick. head hockey stick, I was like, what? Oh, neat. Nice. <laughs> that is 100% going on that shelf, maybe in the studio on the podcast. Day. <coughs> Excuse me. That's awesome. Thank you very much. That is incredible. All right, next up, we've got a letter here from Ethan, who lives in Carrington, Pennsylvania. Yeah, that name looks very familiar. I have a feeling that this person sent us a letter before. Could be. And some of these letters have came in a while ago, but since the last mail time, we made the decision that we want to do a big mail time special video. So uh, I do apologize if you sent something a while ago and we're only getting to it now. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Dear Post to Post, I am Ethan. Hi, I'm Ethan, and my 11th birthday was this Monday, October 30th, 2017. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. A little belated, but uh, that's why we're waiting for Christmas. Mm. I'm writing this on uh, 1st of November, 2017, and I thought this would be the best time to ask if I could have a post-to-post -post jersey. Please don't uh, read my size in the video. Uh, I would love it if you could send me one. If you do send me one, you can send it to the return address. Uh, if you ripped it, here it is. So in other words, it's also on the letter, which uh, we have. Thanks, Ethan. Uh, sorry for the bad handwriting. Handwriting's great, Ethan. I can read every word. I can't give you a jersey either. I post post jersey because I only have one. Uh, we, it was custom made, and I'm going to give it out in a giveaway sometime this coming year. Uh, but we will 100% send you some post to post merch, either uh, some stickers or definitely a letter, or some some uh, hockey cards, maybe some stuff. Yeah, don't, we'll get some stuff to you. Excellent. Oops. This one is from Quebec. Code Saint Luke. Very good. Not far from where I was born. Ooh. Ooh. I was born just across the train tracks from Cote St. Luke. Ooh, Ooh, very neat. Here. Very neat. Yeah. All right. Wow. Keep the mystery here for us. That's from Juan. Juan in Cote St. Luke. There you go. Hello, guys. My name is Juan, and I live in Montreal. I've been living here for two years. I'm originally from Venezuela. Oh, nice. Wow. Despite growing up in a country with no hockey whatsoever since I was a kid, I've, I'm a fan of the NHL. I started my passion for this sport when playing NHL 2000 and shooting some balls with a stick that my father brought me as a gift after a travel to the United States. One of my happiest days of my life was in 2013 when I went to my first NHL game in the church. <laughs> I went to watch the Habs, the church being the Bell Center. I went to watch the Habs versus Dallas. Since that day, I follow the Montreal Canadiens, and Thank now you. I'm a huge fan. I started my own collection with two jerseys and two t-shirts. My favorite player ever is Martin Brodeur. I grew up watching him play with the Devils. I keep going uh, with the amazing job, or keep going with the amazing job you are doing. I love all your videos and podcasts. Now, you also have a South American fan here. Regards from Juan. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Thank Gracias. you so much. Really appreciate That's it. Really two cards great. here. Two old cards, Adam Oates and uh, Scott Stevens in, nice. their, in their younger days. Wow. Uh, some old Topps cards from 92. Two, I believe. Yep, both very two. good. Thank you. That's awesome. I Thank don't have either are. of these cards. That's yeah. very cool. All right, let's open this. And 
I actually know what's in this. It was uh, sent, or we had a contest, or a podcast only contest, uh, which we're planning on doing again in the future. And someone by the name of Brittany won it. And then we got to know Brittany a little bit better. And then she came on our Discord. And uh, now she's a moderator on our Discord. This is Brittany in St. Louis. And this is Brittany in St. Louis. Yeah. Great. Okay. Cool. Hi, Brittany. So I, she told me what she was gonna send. Nice Christmas but card. Happy holidays, Christmas card. Well done, well done. So there's three t-shirts in here. Oh, nice. Yes. Thank you guys for everything you do to make such a great channel. As a little thank you, I got each of you a blues t-shirt because you can never thank have you. too much blues merch. <laughs> Thanks from Brittany. Whatever, wherever you may be, whatever you may do, have hope the holidays are bright and shining for you. Thank you very much, Brittany. Look at this. Nice. Feel that. That's awesome. I don't have a blues jersey or shirt, so this is a huge addition Very to the collection. Nice. Very nice. I think that one's mine. Uh -huh. Medium, I think. This is probably mine here, I'm guessing. Because I'm a larger this fellow. This is... Uh, what's that one? This is... Uh... Yeah, this one's for Jason. Alrighty. I don't know when I'm going to see Jason again next, but Jason, you got a new Ooh, shirt, and I'll nice. give it to you next time I see you. Very nice. Nice. St. Louis Blues. That's a lovely logo. It is. You know, that's a great logo. A lovely logo. Thank you very much, Brittany. Yes, thank you very much. That is excellent. It's a great Christmas. Oh, oh. I'm going to wear that uh, shirt maybe in the next podcast, I think. Very good. Okay, this one's from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Tyler. Tyler from Winnipeg. Tyler, YWG. All right, I'm going to hand that to you because that looks like artistic, ooh, artistic items. And I'm going to read the letter. Oh, cool. All right, dear Post to Post, my name is Tyler and I live in Winnipeg. Obviously, being from Winnipeg, I'm a huge Winnipeg Jets fan. My favorite player is Patrick Laine at the moment. Yeah, I know it's only a second season in the NHL. However, the way he plays and how consistent he is at the game tells me that he's going to be one of the all-time greats. I also like uh, Nicholas Ehlers and Mark Scheifele. I also know, uh, I know, I know I sound biased, but uh, when they play together, it's amazing, even though most of my family are Bruins fans. Ugh. Yeah. I recently discovered your channel. Recently one day while I was bored at university. I believe the first video I saw was the NHL logo ranking videos. Uh -huh. And ever since, I've been addicted to your videos. For the most part, I'll play the videos if I'm either studying, playing video games, or just want to gain more knowledge about hockey in general. Overall, you guys give me a great variety of content to enjoy and educate myself. In some ways, Brent is the grandfather I wish I'd had since <laughs> my grandpa passed away. <clears throat> when I was very young, so I never had the experience of having a grandfather figure. He seems like the type of guy that I'd love to have as my grandfather. Uh, not trying to imply he's old. I was <laughs> kind of headed that way, but that's, that's good. Since he loves hockey and, and that jazz. My mom would tell me how my grandpa was a big hockey fan with his favorite team being the Boston Bruins and my mom's being the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, adding ew to both teams. <laughs> Most of my life I've been a soccer fan, thanks to my dad and his influence. Since he's a Chelsea fan, which I absolutely hate, uh, and me being a Leicester City fan. Uh, so hockey wasn't my first sport of choice. So I'd personally like to say thanks to Post to Post and the entertainment value you guys give me. I know this isn't the best of letters structure-wise as I write this letter since my thoughts while writing this letter just got, just pop in my head. Uh, you guys want to write a letter back or send me something, that would be cool. Absolutely. You don't have to, but he adds a smiley face. But great to hear back from you guys in the near future. Best regards from Tyler. And... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Justin, but uh, he doesn't like the Penguins. He does not like the Penguins. Yeah, we'll censor out the word he uses. <laughs> and similar to Neil, my second favorite team are the San Jose Sharks. Heck yeah. If only the Jets could have a defenseman like Brent Burns. <laughs> and PPS, I've included some pictures of my first Jets game while they would, where they would beat Carolina 2-1. Also, my friend on the left looks a bit like Patrick Lyonnais. So Here's said. one. Oh, yeah. I had a little annotation there at the bottom. Yeah, view of Bell MTS place from the upper bowl. I used a wide angle lens, which is why it looks far away. Wow, that's and quite a shot. That's the final score. Nice. You want to show that one too? Oh, sure. I should be showing it, shouldn't I? Yeah. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one for Winnipeg. And yeah. then here's him himself with his friend. Very nice. And uh, he's the guy on the right. 
So the and, other guy uh, is... The, yeah, he does actually kind of look a little yeah, bit like Patrick Laine. Like Laine, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you cool. go. By the way, nice jersey. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank well you very done. much. Well done. Yeah, we'll, we'll set your address aside over there. I'll match up the names. with. I know kind of threw it over there, but mm -hmm. yeah, we'll match it up. Very good. Thanks a lot, Tyler. Go Jets, go. All right. This is from Palmdale, Palmdale California. Palmdale, California. Wow. Nice. All right. Very good. So there is, oh, nice. Nice Nicely tight. This yeah. will be easy to read. Nicely done. Hi, Neil and Brent. My name is Richard, and I live in the suburbs of Los Angeles, California. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a diehard Los Angeles Kings fan. I came across your channel by chance when I was watching highlight videos of some of my favorite Kings players. And your ranking video of NHL logos popped up as a recommended video. Since then, I've watched just about every video you have posted and made wow. sure to subscribe and like. I really appreciate that you take the time to cover all teams and all things hockey. Living in Southern California, hockey is not as popular as baseball or football, but I make every effort to teach as many people about the game as I can. I was in Las Vegas the week the Golden Knights played their first preseason game, and in between hitting the slots, I would take time to ask the locals, bartenders, <laughs> dealers, Uber drivers, if they had heard about the Golden Knights and how the overall feel was about having a major league team in the city. Most people told me they had heard about the team and they saw a lot of merchandise being worn around, but they had never watched a hockey game. I asked every single one of them to try and watch a game or even a YouTube clip and see if it's for them, and most of them were very accepting. Nice. I've made it a goal of mine to visit every stadium in the league, and I started last year by visiting my most hated team's arena, also known as the <laughs> Pond. What they say about the Ducks not selling out home games is very true, and especially true when they play the Kings. The stadium was almost half black and white. This year, I'll be flying up to Northern California on December 23rd, which would be yesterday as we're filming this, and two mm. days ago as they're watching this, and visit one of Neil's teams, the Sharks, take on the Kings in the Shark Tank. It's always interesting to hear you guys talk about West Coast hockey and how it's not covered on the East Coast for obvious reasons, and that's exactly how I feel about East Coast hockey. <laughs> My dream is to one day visit Montreal and watch the Canadians play. They may, that may not be any time soon, but Arizona and Vegas will probably happen this year or next. Mm. One last word before I go. I remember the mascot video. Someone mentioned that they thought Bailey was a silly name for a mascot. There actually, or there is actually a lot of meaning behind the name mm. because that mascot was named after Garnet Edward Ace Bailey, who was an NHL player during the late 60s through the 70s and played for the Boston Bruins, two-time Stanley Cup winner, Detroit Red Wings, St. Louis Blues, Washington Capitals, and the Edmonton Oilers before they joined the NHL. During 2001, Bailey was a scout for the LA Kings and very sadly was on one of the planes that was hijacked during September 11th attacks of the Twin Towers in New York City. In an effort to make sure Bailey's contributions to the Kings and legacy would always be carried on, the team decided to name their mascot after him. He also wears the number 72 because that was the average temperature in the city of Los <laughs> Angeles. Interesting. Thank you guys for everything you do. People do appreciate it, even across the continent in Southern California. Keep up the great videos. I will definitely be watching them. Also, if you ever have any extra Kings hockey cards, feel free to throw them my way. Will do. I've got lots. I always love bringing them and filling my cubicle at work with them. Thanks again from Richard. Richard. Awesome. That's awesome. Thank that's you so much. That's a great story about how Bailey got his name. Absolutely. I didn't I, know I that. Didn't know that. I, sorry, I didn't know that when I made the video, but I learned soon after because lots of people in the comments made sure that I knew. Fantastic story. And we share the same goal of trying to visit all of this, the uh, the arenas in, in the NHL. That's a goal that's, that's going to take a long time. I think for anyone, would, that goal would take a long time for anyone. Uh, but uh, we're going to yeah. try and do it probably over the next little bit. I'll put that back in the envelope just because the return address is on there. Sure. So yeah, we'll, that's we'll a great it. idea. Okay. okay, this one is from North Carolina. Jacksonville, North Carolina. Nice. NASCAR country. Football country. Yeah. Basketball country. Huge. 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 Blue Devils and Tar Heels. It's going to be huge. Huge. What do we got from North Carolina? Oh, wow, there's actually there's a hat in here. What? Oh, nice! It's a, it's a, it's a magnet. It's a fridge magnet. This 20, is our, this is our second one. 27, 2018, 2017, 18 hurricane schedule. Wow. That is fantastic. Feel that. The, we, the our Columbus ones on the fridge over there. There's the letter. Okay. See, we got some other stuff in here too. Ooh, 
That's a that's a nice puck. Like twentieth anniversary of the. That team. is a really really nice puck. I love that. That's going on that shelf. Dear Post to Post crew, my name is Travis. I'm 24. I live in Jacksonville, North Carolina, and I recently became a fan of hockey within the last year and a half. I know, I know, I got a late start, but the market where I live isn't the best for advertising games. I was clicking through the channels at home one day when I noticed a hockey movie I loved as a kid. It was The Mighty Ducks. After watching a little bit of the movie, I hopped on YouTube and started looking up hockey games, and they had me interested in more. I've lived in North Carolina my whole life, so naturally I started rooting for the Hurricanes. I decided what better way to kick off my hockey fandom by going to a live game. I'm only two hours away from the PNC Arena, so I figured I should go. I wanted to go with my girlfriend to a game, and she's from Philadelphia, so it only felt right to get tickets to see the Flyers versus Hurricanes. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had. The arena just blew my mind, and the atmosphere was like no other. It was packed on that night, and the crowd really got into the game. Seeing Wayne Simmons and Jeff Skinner and all the players from each team was so awesome. Sebastian Ajo was amazing and instantly became my favorite player. Side note, that's the game when Sebastian Ajo scored his first NHL hat trick. Ever since I, then, I've been hooked on hockey. I've been to three games since I went to my first game, including the St. Louis Blues and Florida Panthers. I was searching for highlights on YouTube after the game, and I came across one of your ranking videos. I watched a few more videos and realized how great the channel was. Your channel is great from the beginning fan to the diehard enthusiast. Your channel isn't biased, and while you do have your favorite teams you cheer for, you always talk about every team, even the ones that need big improving, and that's something I admire about your videos. Your channel has shown me all the different leagues and hockey clubs all over the world. Without your channel, I don't think I would have been able to see and learn as much as I do about all things hockey. Keep up the great work and go Canes! Thank you very much, Travis. That's awesome. He's included this hat. This Carolina Hurricanes oh, hat. Oh, smokes! And it's, it's nice. It's one of like the flex ones. That's a beauty. That's a really nice hat. Travis, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And also, unopened package of... Oh, of wow. Hurricane. I don't know if I should... I don't think I should... I, I don't think I can... I don't know. Open that. Like... Me mentally, I don't think I can yeah. accept an unopened package of... It's a 2012-2013 season. Like, I want to keep this in its package. It's it's worth more. It's, it'll look good on the shelf back there. It's yeah. all in its package. That's awesome. That's Travis, great. thank you very much. Appreciate it. And thank you for sharing your story, too. Yeah. I love the fridge magnet yeah. and the puck. That's incredible. You can throw that over there as well. I shall. Like that in That's the pile. great. Keep these things together. All right. So oh, neat. So neat. All right. Okay, this one. This one is from uh, Virginia. Vienna, Virginia. Not far from the D.C. metro area. You and your geography. I like my geography. We're close to Washington here. Ooh. And may he see some capitals, love. We'll see. Cool. I'll pull the letter out. This is from Ronnie. Ooh, nice cards here. Okay. Real nice Paul Stassen card here. Dear Post to Post, hey Post to Post, my name is Rami, Rami, and I'm from Fairfax, Virginia, and I'm a Washington Capitals fan. I also pl play travel hockey for Capitals Academy, and on our home rink, our home rink is the Capitals practice rink, and I started playing at 7. The first time I started watching your channel was in June, and I fell in love with it. P.S. I hope you enjoy the hockey cards, and sorry about the bad handwriting. Oh, the handwriting's great, Rami, no problem. I don't have any of these cards. This is awesome. We've got a Paul Stastny artifact card. We've got a Brendan Gallagher, uh, Jared Tenorti rookie card, Rene Bohr card, and then the uh, checklist, Vegas Golden Knights card. Oh! That's awesome. Thank you. Oh. That's great. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Very good. All right. Next up, we've got uh, one from Edmonton. Edmonton. David in Edmonton. It's a neat looking envelope. Yeah. Very cool. This one feels a little... Thick. So you notice the stamp on that? Football CFL? player. Yeah. Nice. That's a hundred hundred year hundred year breakup. Stamp. Nice. Indeed. Oh, there's some stuff stuff in here. There's something. We have contents. We Ooh. have contents. Oh cool. It's an Edmonton Oil Kings uh schedule. Schedule. <laughs> <laughs> schedule. Two of them, actually. Here, post to post. Hi, my name is David. You probably remember me from mail time number eight, where I sent the Oilers schedules. I've heard your request for NHL schedules, and I'm fulfilling that request, sort of. As of today, when I'm writing this letter, I won't be in any 
any NHL cities aside from Edmonton, but in late December, early January, I'll be in Toronto for the Leafs game. Nice. To hold you guys over, enclosed in this letter are a couple of Oil King schedules to show some love to the WHL. Heck yeah. Because of the city I live in, my favorite team is the Edmonton Oilers, and my favorite player is Connor McJesus. <laughs> I mean McDavid. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Sincerely, David. Awesome. That's, Thank you very much, great. David. That's, that's cool. That's going on the shelf for sure. Two of them here, too. Super. Great stuff. Super. That's really good. All right. Open up a package. This one's heavy. Yeah, this, this one says... Winnemucca. Winnemucca, Nevada. This could be a Vegas Golden Knights uh, market area. Oh, really? Yeah. Were you ever toting your pack along the dusty Winnemucca Road when along came a semi with a high canvas covered load? I guess not. I've Been Everywhere by Hank Snow talks about Winnemucca. <laughs> if you're going okay. to Winnemucca, man, with me you can ride. Oh, an Ottawa Senators puck. Ooh, nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, an Arizona Coyotes puck. The, pu the puck collection is growing here. <laughs> this is great. Boston Bruins puck. Oh, I got a Boston smokes. Bruins cup back there, so that'll go nice. Winnemucca is delivering here. And a Winnipeg Jets. Very wow. lovely. Wow. Cool. And then, of course. And we have a letter. Good. <laughs> That's easy for you to read. Yeah. Nice big print for us old granddad age guys. <laughs> uh, dear Post to Post, my name is Eric. I'm from Nevada, and I've been watching hockey for a little over three years now. My favorite team is the Colorado Avalanche. I have three questions to ask you guys. My first question is, do you guys think that the Vegas Golden Knights will make it to the playoffs? Well, we talked about that in today's podcast, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess yesterday's te podcast, technically. Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 I think so, too. And I think the way they're playing... I think not only are they going to make the playoffs, they might make some noise. Well, in the we're playoffs. talking about how they're not just a team that's getting contributions from one line or a couple of players. It's spread out evenly through a lot of really the four lines that's been contributing. Uh, it's it's really great to see. That's the kind of trait that you need to win a Stanley Cup is yeah. to roll those four lines, and that's what Vegas is doing right now. Yeah, that's funny. He said, "As I asked this at start to the season, the Golden Knights are having just a stunning." I'm writing this. The Golden Knights are eight one and zero. <laughs> so a lot has changed since then. Yeah. For the better. The Golden Knights are, are, they don't have that same kind of winning percentage. That's almost impossible. But they are leading their division. They're the second place team in the entire league. Leading the West. Leading, yeah. betraying only Tampa Bay. Yep. Who's like superhuman. So it's that's, amazing. That's cool. Another question is in the standings. It says wins, losses, overtime, losses, and points. My question is, how are the points counted? Is it goals scored or assists or neither? Like a tiebreaker? I think uh, if it's league standings we're talking about, uh, wins are two points, losses are zero, overtime losses are one point, and shootout losses are one point. Mm -hmm. A shootout win is like any other win. It's worth two points. But those two points aren't quite as much as an overtime or regulation win. Exactly. Because when they count everything up at the end of the year, a team's overall points are assessed and if there's two teams tied with overall points the tiebreaker is regulation or overtime wins exactly so if, if one team has more of those then they get that tiebreaker and we've seen this happen i think three or four years ago boston i think in the islanders there was a they went it went to a tiebreaker and the row was the was mm -hmm. the tiebreaker so yeah yeah boston had the same number of wins but some of them were shootout wins which are of a lower quality of points yep. so they didn't count and they didn't make the playoffs yep uh, so, and now, just in case we're, we're misunderstanding the question, for players' personal stats, points are awarded for goals and assists at the same amount. So, a player has 28 points, that could be 14 goals and 14 assists. Mm. They all count the same. Okay. My last question is, do you think Matt Duchesne will get traded? <laughs> Uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> I think it's a pretty safe bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, this letter got sent before it happened. Yeah. Obviously, you don't mean traded again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but maybe the way Ottawa's yeah. playing. <laughs> I've also sent you four pucks with the Winnipeg Jets, Arizona Coyotes, Boston Bruins, and Ottawa Senators. I was a subscriber to your YouTube channel when you were at 2000. Sincerely, Eric. And uh, he's got his address underneath. Perfect. Well. You include your return address. Thank you very much, Eric. Thanks for writing in, and thank you. For these pucks, these are awesome. They're these are beautiful. official official pucks made in Slovakia. Yeah, that's, that's funny. awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. That'll go in the collection behind us as well. Yeah, they all have the NHL logo in the back too, mm. so they're league pucks. They're official. They are official. Next, we've 
we've got uh looks to be oh i think this was the military one or the one that was okay yeah this came from an apo address uh, yeah. which is in a, a military post office uh system in the united states so that's what this is nice little letter there you go all righty yeah chances are i will not see the mail time video when you receive this letter but i wanted to thank all of you for what you do i'm currently on deployment in africa and your videos have helped a lot to pass the time. I love the minor league logo ranking videos. Swamp Rabbits are still the best so far. I hope this lets you know the reach these videos have. Keep up oh. with all the great work. Thanks again from Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. Paul. That's that, amazing. Thank you very much. That's that, lovely. Wow, writing in from, from that far away. And thank you for your service as well. Yes. Uh, that's that's really important. That's, it is very important. And... Uh, it's cool that, that someone that far away, like even stationed over there, can still be a viewer of, of something that we create yeah. in a little old Prince Edward Island, Canada. Yeah, sitting in our basement. Yeah, crazy. Incredible. Okay, we've got another letter here. This is from Charlie, and Charlie lives in... In... Ontario. Uh, Barry, Barry, Ontario. Yeah, we've been close to Barry. Not quite up that far. But nearby. I almost cut into the letter on this one. All right, I'll start the letter. There's some hockey cards in here. Dear Post to Post crew, my name is Charlie and I'm 28 years old. I've been watching your channel since about mid-June. I'm a Habs fan stuck in Leaf Nation. I live in Barrie, which is roughly an hour outside of Toronto. My favorite players are Brent Burns, Carey Price, and Mark Scheifele. Enclosed in my letter is a Gary Innes card, who I had as my phys ed teacher and football coach in high school. I also have included other cards as well, wishing you... Wishing all you guys a Merry Christmas and a wonderful and safe 2018. P.S. Keep up the awesome work from Charlie. Wow. That's amazing. Here's the graded. Oh, wow. 1975. Oh, man. That is really special. That is, that's cool. And, and a personal connection. A personal connection. Yeah. That's awesome. That's incredible. We've got a Sidney Crosby card here. That is massive. Ooh, Jake Allen. Heck yeah. All right. Charlie Coyle and Pekka Rene. Very. That's nice. awesome. Very cool story. Very nice. I love that. Okay. Gary Innes. Let's do this one next. I have a feeling I know what's in here because it's got Lulia written all over the, oh. the outside of it. So. It came in a bag like that? Yeah, it just, in came, the just came in the bag. With like a handle and everything. Yeah, the handle and everything. I, no, kinda don't, I don't want to hurt the bag because it's nice, but it looks like there's some... Yeah, right from Sweden. <clears throat> Hello, Post to Post. I just want to give you a Christmas gift. I still love your channel and keep up the good work. I hope you like the hockey cards from the old SHL. Of course, Brent did. You got a t-shirt in size like I have. If you want to send me a hockey card of Jacob Silverberg, well, make my year. Merry Christmas and hockey love from Sweden. I will from 100%. Jean Christophe. Thank I, you very much, Jean Christophe. 100%. You got your address there? Yep. 100% send you uh, that, definitely. All right, here's yours. Oh, that's fabulous. This is awesome. That is fabulous. Match the hat. Heck Thank yeah. Thank you so much. That's really cool. Official merchandise from Lulia Hockey Team. That is great. I'm even going to keep this tag thing at the top. Yeah. Like, I'm going to cut maybe that logo out or something. That's, that's a great cool. hashtag. Dress for battle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I that's awesome. That. Thank you very much, Dr. Christoph. I'll give you that. Perfect. Center. And then these are the... That is perfect. Uh, rookie, Matthias Oland, Frederick Modine, and Thomas Holmstrom. Wow. Rookie cards from the SHL. First, first SHL cards I have. Yeah. So. In one video, we've got... Uh, Cards from, from different leagues here. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you. That's amazing. That's sweet. Thanks, John Christoph. Thank you Appreciate very much. It. And thank you for the hat that you originally sent too, as well. All right, that. moving on. We've got uh, where's this from? Rhode Island. Ooh, nice. Pa Tucket. Is that close to Nant Nantucket? Well, Rhode Island's pretty small, so uh, it's close to everything, including Nantucket. Okay. So, ooh. Yeah. Pot Tucket, there's a baseball, I think triple A. There's some Pot unopened Tucket. packages of cards here. Merry Christmas, Neil and Brent from Christopher. The China. Oh, yes, he's contributing on Patreon. Oh, okay. Yes. 
So the, is that China? Is that how you say it, it? The China Pratt, I think it's China. Yeah, China Pratt. That's awesome. Lovely. Got to open these right now. How could you not? You're getting right in. Yeah, hey, I'll let you go through those. Okay. This is a 1990 score NHL hockey. This is a 93-94 the, the Leaf Set Premier Edition. Brent Sutter, Sean Burr from Detroit, Peter Sidorkowitz, goalie for Hartford. That's an awesome Check name. Check that out. Alexander Mogilny when he was with Buffalo. Craig Fisher with Philadelphia. Yaramir Jagger. Look how young he looks with the ball cap. <laughs> Pittsburgh Penguins, first round draft, draft choice, 1990. So it's his draft era card. Cool. A Scott Sissons, first round draft choice, 1990. John Druce, Troy Murray, Paul Ranheim, Gordy Roberts. Oh my goodness. Andy Moog. <laughs> the classics in there. Yerky Lume. Tony Tanti. And Ray Ferraro in a Hartford uniform. Jeez. Wow. These ones are all kind of stuck together. We got Gino Ojic, uh, Tom Fitzgerald, Dr. Graham, Ron Wilson, Radic Amir. I don't, I'm not sure who that is. Sergio Momesso. Sergio Momesso. Wow. John Cullen, Danny Lorenz, a freshman Phenoms. Chris Pronger card. Oh, wow. I believe that's a rookie card. Chris Pronger rookie card. Which wow. Is awesome. Huge score. Jeez. Uh, Wayne McBean. Michael Goulet. Or Goulet. Goulet, yeah. Uh, Doug Brown. Brian Noonan. There's one more. These ones are kind of stuck together. Uh, Wes Walls. Walls? Walls? Mm-hmm. Yeah, two more packages here. I'm gonna give you. Uh, sorry, our camera died there. I ran out of space on the card. New card in there. Good to go. Uh, yeah, lots of cards. I can't. I don't know where it, it stopped, but that's Mole Nolan. What do you got over there? I have Jeff Jackson, Quebec. Paul Fenton. I should maybe just Paul Fenton, Mark Habscheid, Andy Moog. We have a collector's edition, Brian Bellows card Ooh, when he nice. was with Minnesota. Illustration almost. Mark Fitzpatrick, Pelly Eklund, William Jennings Trophy winners. This would be Andy Moog and Roger Lemelin. Or Rajon Lemelin, sorry. My apologies. Pat Verbeek, Mike Gardner in his Rangers uniform, Dave Lowry with St. Louis, and Finally, Alexander Mogilny, once nice. again, with Buffalo. That's great. That's I, think, nice I don't stuff. think I have any of, of the cards that you just named yeah. over there. No, I, that's, that's awesome. That's great. Thanks, Chris. Christopher. Yes, thank you. And thank you for your, for your contribution on Patreon. Uh, it goes a long way. Okay. I've got a, quite a large package here. <coughs> this is from Canada. Dr Drayton, Drayton, Ontario. Ontario. NOG, so that's uh, that's North Ontario, sure. I would say. Yeah, this is a very well packaged box. I'll tell you that right now. I don't want to. I'm scared there's something in here that I could. Yeah, you don't want to hurt any. Don't hurt yourself either. I was toting my pack along the dusty when a mucker road. When along came a semi, with a high canvas cover for you. You okay? I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota, Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa, Oklahoma, Tampa, and Grand Kind of like an NHLer's uh, season travel. Boston, Charleston, Dayton, oh. Louisiana, Washington, Houston, Kingston, Texas, Canada. You're on a roll. I better stop rolling. Well packaged. Whatever this is, it's very well packaged. Well packaged. From Britain, Ontario. It's like a frame thing, maybe? Something in a frame? That'd be a good... Some, ooh, ooh, there's a... A Christmas card for Neil and Brent. Awesome. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Merry Christmas, Neil and Brent. Congrats on a successful year. I wish you guys all the best. Brent, I hope you enjoy this item and may find it a nice home in your man cave. Merry Christmas from Christopher. Oh, the same, same guy. 
I think. Oh yeah, same guy. Same guy. Same. Okay. D Look at this. Yeah. December 1967. Oh, my heart. Hockey pictorial. Oh man. I guess I should put it over here. Look at the the headlines on the the. Yeah. Huh. Number that's, five, magic for Tremblay. That's cool. Head flipper of the seals, the Oakland seals. Lou Angotti, toast of Italian town, one lucky guy, the most radical change in hockey. You know, this is so historic because this is the first months of expansion. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So that's this. this I didn't even think of that when I first saw the year. This is covering that era. Photo story special, Big John Beliveau, newest member of the 400 Club. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, man. First cover action shot of the new teams. There's St. Louis Blues, Pittsburgh. Wow. Huh. That's incredible. Thank you very much. That's what a, a historical piece. That's that a very is. special item to put in our collection. This thing is 50 years old. Crazy. Yeah, 50 years old. When this was printed, the Toronto Maple Leafs were the defending Stanley Cup champions. <laughs> that's, true. that's true. And that's the last time you can say this about any magazine since then. For now. That's true. There is wow. A, there's Thank no, you so much, Chris. There's no sender on this one. I'm not sure. But it came from International because there's a customs sticker yeah. on it. Wow. I love that. That's definitely an uh, honored spot in the man cave. 100%. For sure. Ooh. Looks like we have a scarf. A scarf. A Ooh, and a hat. I think this is from uh, Alan. Manchester United scarf. That's your team. It's my team. These are my boys, my lads. Yeah, wow. It, it is from Alan. Oh, boy. Paisley Pirates hat. Heck yeah, we already have a jersey, now we get a hat. That's, That's awesome. amazing. Okay, dear Neil and Brent, my name is Carol. Oh, is, oh yeah, because they I think they go to games together. Okay. Yeah. My name is Carol. I'm 40, and I love watching your videos. They are great. I love your jersey that you have, and people uh, sent you like the Paisley, Paisley Pirates uh, top as I go and watch them with Alan, the guy who sent it to you. So, okay, so that makes sense. Hmm. Uh, I love the fact that you wore the jersey and that Alan sent you the uh, nasty... Oh, uh, nasty, they, in the video nasty that we did on the that. EH, uh, Oh, Freder and Galakis yeah. video, right. It looks good on you. We're sending you a Paisley Pirates hat for Neil and a Manchester scarf for Brent. Thank you so much. We thought we would get Neil the Paisley Pirates hat to go with the jersey Heck that yeah. Alan had sent you previously. And Brent the Manchester scarf because we remember someone had sent Brent a copy of the Sir Alex Ferguson autobiography also revealed that he was a Manchester United fan. Uh, the video... Um, uh, mail time number, number, six. number six. Okay. <clears throat> Can we have an update on the post to post T-shirt? Are you going to be available through Patreon? And I think uh, we yeah, we, have, we just announced the uh, <clears throat> the store that we have. Oh, we don't, we're not going to do it through Patreon because we don't, we don't want to get it done locally anymore. So we're going to do it on uh, shop.spreadshirt.ca slash post to post. I think that's the URL. Uh, it's in the description anyway. Um, so yeah, if you want to con contribute on there and and get a post to post T-shirt, that'd be that'd be awesome. Thank nice. You. Uh, when I was watching your mail time number seven, as I seen you, Neil was wearing a Red Wings t-shirt. Uh, as I'm a Red Wings fan, I really like the t-shirt. I hope you like your Christmas presents that we have sent you. A Merry Christmas when it all comes. Happy New Year to all the Post to Post crew and their families. Yours sincerely, Carol and Alan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Carol and Alan. Uh, you guys are awesome. Not only did you send us one package, you sent us two. All kinds of presents. You guys are great. We'll send you something back for sure. And I'm wearing this to work this coming week. Are you? I am. I'm going to wear it to work because we're expecting some cold weather, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, after Boxing Day. And there's a guy at work. He's a friend of mine. And he cheers for Arsenal. And I'm going to wear this just because he cheers for Arsenal. And I'll have a I love a United scarf. Oh, there you go. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Rub it in his face. Oh, just you know, a little bit. He this, was born in London. He's uh, he's ah, legit. He's legit. This one is from from uh, Claremont, Florida, I think. Yep, Florida. Wow. So we love we love Florida. We love Florida. We'd love to love Florida up close and personal a little more often than we've been able to. Mm. We've been there lots, actually. Yep. Not lately, but... 
Neil and I made a trip to Florida a couple of years ago with the attempt to try to watch one of the last space shuttle liftoffs. 2010. Oh, snap. They scrubbed the launch when we were down there, so we came home empty-handed. But uh, we went to Titusville and staked out our spot and everything. I see something coming I out of that box. I know you just got a scarf, but I'm pretty sure this is a scarf from the Orlando Solar Bears. <laughs> Heck is, yeah. That is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> oh man, I gotta put this on right now. <laughs> it's toasty in here with this onesie on, but I can't not wear this. I can't just take it out of the package and just let it sit there. I gotta wear it. This is amazing. <laughs> Oh, there's a, it's just a Solar Bears t-shirt in here. <laughs> Look at that. Well, it's going to show up anyway. Orange, one of my wow. favorite colors. Yeah, you got, you got your color a, choice. It's just a thing of beauty. Like, look at that logo. Seriously, just look at it. <laughs> Would you just look at it? I will. It's awesome. It Thank is beautiful. You. That's nice. That is tremendous. Thank you very much. And... Oh, there's something else. Well, now that you've got your scarf on, I'll put, put mine on. There's something else in here. It's like a letter. I'll let you read this. Okay. And then there's something else in there after that. Do not bend. Hmm. I don't know what this is. Manchester United scarf. Thank you. All right. Here comes the letter. Hello from sunny Central Florida. Thanks for rubbing that in. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jared. I'm 32 and don't uh, write in print much. I would uh, write this in cursive, but you might have trouble reading that also. Anyway, I like the channel. I wanted to send some Florida hockey gear your way. The picture and scarf is for Brent and Neil. Uh, I hope you enjoy your shirt and jersey. What is it, jersey in here? Shirt. Shirt 2 jersey? Did I read that right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, it's all old Reebok. It's an old Reebok jersey, but if the t-shirt is too small, let me know and I'll get you another. I'd love to post a post shirt uh, in size medium or large. Go lightning. We want the cop. Okay. You ready for this? There's a picture for me, apparently. Yeah, there is a picture for you. I'm going to show the camera first. Now I'm going to show you. It is an autographed Jean Belleville Stanley Cup photo. Oh my god. Le Gros Bill. And I believe the verification and authentication stuff is in oh the Oh my is. god. That's amazing. Oh my god. This is one of those speechless moments for you the last time you got an autographed John Bellavo thing. Jared, that is that's, just too, too amazing. That's, a, that's, a, that's going up on the wall in this room, for sure. Okay, and he sent a jersey. Man, that's it says Jean Beliveau, H O F 1972, Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. And inside would be the, I'm sure, the proof. Jared, you're you're too kind. I don't know what jersey this is. Thank you for sending the jersey. It looks to be. Ooh, I think it's a Tampa Bay Lightning jersey. Get out. And it's got, it's got a name and a number on the back, too. It's a filthy Le jersey. Wow. Heck yeah. That is awesome. That is absolutely tremendous. That size small, that's that's my size for jerseys. I like my jerseys to fit a little tight. It's got Tampa Bay in the back there. Nice. That is that's awesome. Beauty. This is that helps the collection. Does it ever? A huge amount. A huge <laughs> amount. I think that brings it up to like twelve or thirteen. Thank you, Jared. Thank you Jared. so much. That is incredibly nice of you. Jared, that's that's incredible. Like all we ask for is letters, just to hear you guys' story, and then you send us this stuff. Like, man, oh man, some incredible people in the world out there. This has the hologram verification right on it, which is the authenticity guarantee. You gonna sleep with that tonight? <laughs> I would if I thought I wouldn't crumble it. You know, or, or crinkle it. So yeah, it's it's wall mount material for sure. Can I get you to set yes, that over can. there? Just I don't have any room over Man, here. Man, this so. is fabulous. That's pretty cool. That's amazing. 
Okay, this is the last package. Um, I know everything that's in this box. Mark, uh, well, first I guess I'll tell the story. Okay. I was making a video, I think, on Vegas, and I, I all I said at the beginning was like, sorry guys, I don't have any, sorry to you, all you Vegas fans, I don't have any Vegas merch. Uh, I'll try to get some in the future. Someone commented and said, uh, what's your size? Uh, I'll get, I'll hook you up. And I thought, okay. And then, uh, small, medium, I, I put in there for whatever, and uh, he said, no, seriously. Send me your information and your sizes and stuff. I'll I'll hook you up. Here's my email. So I emailed him. Told him I said, "Wait, oh, hey, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Send send him my size." And I just get an automatic notified email from NHL.com with a whole list of stuff that he bought. Like I I don't even understand. Like I I and I already told Mark. I already told you this. Like I don't even have words to how how kind this is that you did this. Like this is. This is amazing. The box got a little crumpled here, but like it, it's not like you just sent like one thing. There's a whole list of stuff, and then he just bought us a, a whole bunch of other stuff. Like yesterday, I just got an email about like <laughs> I, I hope I'm in a position financially to do this for someone else in the future to pay it forward. It's wow, like it, it's amazing. It's got the San Francisco airport sticker on it, so it came from SFO. SFO. So like I said, I already know what's in here. You don't? I don't know if I told you. No. Ooh. Oh, we got a Vegas Gold Knights Ooh. hat. Ooh. Heck yeah. Ooh. That's awesome. Taking that stuff right out of there. Boom. This is the Fanatics hat too. I don't. I don't have a fanatics hat. I'm gonna be interested to to try this out. Nice. It'll let me know if I can buy more in the future. Very nice. We got put that down so you can see. Vegas Golden Knights long sleeve shirt. Sin City hockey. Sin City. <laughs> that is awesome. That's great. So we got that. Oh my goodness. Then we got this one, which is a Vegas Golden Knights t-shirt, which is amazing. Jeez. It doesn't stop there. <laughs> Holy smoke. This is a Vegas Golden Knights sweater. <laughs> like, he, he went completely all out and buying this stuff. Like, oh my. I couldn't believe it. God. Vegas Golden Knights uh, looks like a one of those uh, De cut decals. De yeah. I don't, there's, a, there's a word for this specific type of decal. But heck yeah. I'm putting that right in the back window of my truck. That's, That's awesome. And we got. Perfect cut decal. This looks to be, I think, the return shipping label to NHL.com. I assume maybe there's something wrong with the order or something. And nothing in the letter. Oh, it's a, he's oh he's in the U.S. Army. Oh wow! Thank you for your service, Mark. Uh, that's that's something. a pretty cool letter. This in itself, just this like yeah. little piece of paper. That's great going the collection. Yeah, I'd like to send this out. So you've been summoned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. And then the final piece. <clears throat> is that actually what I think it is? It is actually what you think it is. Oh. It is literally God. actually what you think it is. This is a Vegas Golden Knights jersey. Not the like not the Fanatics jersey, not a ripoff. Like this is an official Adidas, Adidas jersey. With a little squishy button on it and everything. Like holy unbelievable. Like getting like a little emotional almost like to someone that would do all of this oh like just absolutely incredible thank you mark thank you so mark, much like that's... i really really appreciate it you went way above and beyond like that's wow look at that incredible i cannot wait to wear this in a video yeah. i'm so excited just just amazing i didn't notice the detail here on the yeah, and the black of the logo. There's it's bevel. I don't think I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That is, wow. That is awesome. Thank you so much. I like I can't say thank you enough. I just 
Now you got something to wear when Gerard Gallant has a, an autograph session here when he gets back to PEI this summer coming up. Damn right. You'll wear that, maybe get a signature on. Mm, we did a jersey <laughs> review on the Canadians that he just went ahead, so you get the tie strap there, which you might uh, have seen from the previous video. Wow, that's only your second Adidas uh, This is, brand new yeah, jersey, the second right? Adidas, second Adidas jersey. Yeah, it's uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's really, really nice. The, the detail is really, really even great. The, even, even like the... It's got like rivets on yeah, like like the, the, the helmet. Yeah, That's incredible. That's awesome. They're 3D. Whew. Man, it was a, it was a good day. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you everyone who, who sent Christmas. in uh, anything. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, what a fun fun process hearing your, hearing your story, where you're from. Uh, Mark, you didn't include a letter, so I don't know your story, but uh, I know you're from the letter. You're a part of uh, the U.S. Army, so uh, thanks for your service. Wow. Thank you everyone for sending something in. I hope everyone's having a Merry Christmas, and hopefully Santa uh, found you guys as well. Santa certainly found... Uh, Anyone who asked yeah. for anything back, uh, we'll, we have your address. We'll, we'll mail you something back uh, as soon as we can, probably sometime after New Year's. Uh, this week, we'll figure out what we're going to send back and stuff and get that all ready, and then after the you know, first week of the new year, we'll send, uh, we'll send you guys something else. So uh, thanks to everyone who contributed something. If you've sent something and you don't see it in this video, uh, Christmas Rush... Uh, Canada Post, USPS, uh, depending where you sent it from, just might not have been able to get it to us as, as quickly as possible because mm -hmm. of the Christmas rush. So uh, we'll be, I have a feeling we'll be doing another mail time soon because I think some people messaged me and said that uh, sent something, said something late, so hopefully you get it just after Christmas. So another mail time coming soon. I know this was a long video, so thank you very much for everyone who has watched this far. Uh, thank you everyone to, who sent us any kind of uh, piece of... Uh, merchandise or memorabilia or any kind of hockey cards ah, thank you guys very much i appreciate it uh, happy happy holidays merry christmas and uh hope you have a good new year's coming up so uh thanks and we'll see you next time adios